Let's talk about the MMR vaccine, an essential tool to help protect you and your community. Let's start with the basics. What is the MMR vaccine and why does it matter? So MMR stands for measles, mumps and rubella. It's a vaccine that safeguards you against these three dangerous diseases. The vaccine is a superhero that helps your body fight off these diseases so that you don't get sick if you get exposed to them. If you're not vaccinated, then you have a high risk of contracting these highly contagious diseases, potentially leading to severe health complications. Measles, for example, can cause pneumonia, which is a chest infection, encephalitis, which is an inflammation of the brain, and it can even result in death. Mumps is a viral infection that can lead to a painful swelling of the salivary glands. Complications may include orchitis, which is a swelling of the testicles, which can lead to infertility issues in males, and it can also lead to encephalitis, which is inflammation of the brain, which can be life-threatening. Rubella is usually a mild illness, but if a pregnant woman contracts rubella during the first trimester, it can have severe consequences for the developing fetus, and it may lead to birth defects, including hearing impairments, heart defects, and developmental issues. Our community faces many challenges when it comes to the MMR vaccination. Misinformation is one of them. Many people in our community have heard incorrect information about the MMR vaccine and its connection to autism. This has led some parents to make decisions based on false information. It was all because of a study published years ago which was discredited and turned out to be completely wrong. There's no evidence of any link between the MMR vaccine and autism. When I first came to this country I was very small and my mum didn't speak any English. Due to this, my mum didn't have any information about the MMR vaccine. There was a massive language barrier which caused a delay in me receiving my vaccination, which I ended up getting at the age of nine. Learning about the MMR vaccine can be challenging if your first language isn't English. However, you can find information about the MMR vaccine on the UK government website. These are also translated in different languages, such as Bengali, Polish, Ukrainian, Somalian, etc. Cultural and religious beliefs influence vaccinations decisions made in our community. There are two types of MMR vaccine. There's one that contains gelatin and there's one that doesn't. It's important to note that they both work in the exact same way and they both have the exact same protection. Getting the gelatin-free MMR vaccine is simple. When you talk to your GP or healthcare provider about receiving the MMR vaccine, let them know that you'd like this version without gelatin. They'll ensure you that you receive the right vaccine that aligns with your preferences and belief systems. Some of us haven't had the MMR vaccine when we were younger. However, as you grow and learn more, your perspective can change. All you have to do is call and book an appointment with your local GP and get vaccinated. If you are not sure whether you've had the vaccination or not, you can always call your GP and check. It is important to have two doses of vaccine. If you are unsure about whether you've had two doses or not, your GP surgery should be able to check for you. If your vaccination records are not available or do not exist, it will not harm you to have the MMR vaccine again. It is important to note that the risk of severe side effects is much lower than the risk associated with the diseases the MMR vaccine prevents. It is especially important for women to receive the MMR vaccine before becoming pregnant to protect themselves and their future child from these diseases. Ideally, women should receive the vaccine at least one month before trying to conceive. How can you access accurate information about the MMR vaccine? Do not believe everything you hear. Learn how to separate accurate information from misinformation, especially on social media platforms. To learn more about the MMR vaccine, please check with your local GP, the NHS website, or the Gov UK website. Please click on the links below regarding information about the MMR vaccine. You can make a difference in our community by sharing accurate information and supporting vaccinations. Make informed decisions and help your community stay healthy.